You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. If you live in Sarasota, you now have about four more days to have your voice be a part of Resilient SRQ. And that is the program that's set up by county leaders on how to use federal funds for Hurricane Ian damage. 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba has a closer look at how that money could be used. Running a nonprofit, I still see families every day that don't have the funds or the means to be able to rebuild. So. Despite losing his house, cars, and four of his dogs to Hurricane Ian, Justin Willis considers himself lucky to have rebuilt in eight months. I feel terrible because we have so many friends. A friend of ours is still living in a camper, and the camper she was originally living in ended up getting taken halfway through. Nearly a year later, Northport, which took the brunt of the damage from the hurricane, still has several roofs covered in blue tarp. Willis says a lot of families feel completely ignored as they struggle to recover. Insurance has canceled. People are not getting paid from insurance. Homes haven't been fixed. And a lot of these people don't want to leave their homes. They want to stay where they're at, but they just want to be able to rebuild. The county got more than $200 million in funding from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's Community Development Block Grant for Disaster Recovery. The money will go towards various housing programs for low to moderate income households, voluntary housing buyouts, and damaged property acquisition programs. It'll also help relocate families from areas prone to flooding. The families of South County have been so devastated that we need the focus to be here. Northport leaders say that's why it's important for residents to participate in the early drafting stages of the resilient SRQ plan. I am cautiously optimistic that the process will result in us getting our fair share of the funding. But I do believe that there are others um, that were impacted as well, and they deserve their uh, fair share also. With Ian well behind him, Willis, too, cautiously looks ahead. It could very easily happen again next month. It can happen next week. So we have to be prepared as a community, not only for ourselves, but within our response. In Northport, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay.